Hello guys and welcome back to Zero Pixel. Today I want to show you how to create a multi-layered parallax effect in Framer. So let's jump into it. And here we are inside Framer. So let's start from, from a blank canvas. And the uh, first thing that I want to do here is actually to add the layout here on the desktop and should be direction uh, vertical. So inside, inside this desktop, actually we are going to add a, um, a simple frame. Okay, let's drop this frame here. It's uh, already 100% relative, which is great. And the height will be viewport. Viewport, 100 viewport, 8. So let's do it this way. So basically in this frame, we will put all the items that we need uh, for, uh, for creating this uh, multi-layer parallax effect. So this is the hero section, right? That's okay and uh, let's select the desktop and so the width it's okay the height it's a fit content okay that's that's great so for this video i already downloaded some picture from uh, on splash so the first thing that i want to bring into the canvas is actually the background so the background which is this amazing uh, picture that you see i will change the name with bg and I put it actually inside the hero. And I move it to the top, zero, here, okay. I put the width as a relative 100%. So that will be always, always 100% of the width, right? And actually I will uh, pin it only on the top and I will bring it actually uh, a little bit above, like a minus 500 pixels, so that I can see a little bit of this uh, nice, um, uh, nice gradient gradient here. Maybe it's minus 400. Maybe it's better. Yeah, like this. Okay. And uh, so uh, inside always the hero, I'm going to put actually the foreground, which is basically mountains are mountains that i uh took again this picture from uh from unsplash i can put it uh, a little bit above so after that i'm going to bring into the canvas some mountains right and i put this mountains mountains uh and i put it again into the hero section i Put it, uh, I bring it on top, blah, 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 blah. Here we are. This is again, another picture that I took from uh, a splash. So obviously you can choose whatever you need. Here again, we can, um, as you can see, uh, we have the picture that is already um, pinned on the left, on the right, on, on the bottom, which is good, but I want also here that is not fixed but relative so it's 120 percent and let's put it back on the center and uh, pin so left and right so again I need the uh, last uh, items which but basically it's a rock to be back to the mountain right and oh this is huge let me just uh, change the size of this and put it on top here we are so this is basically again a rocket i took this rocket i just utilized the one of those two to you know uh delete um, the the background and that's the result i don't care uh, of being precise so we can see this afterwards and this should be uh, under the mountain right and let's put it a little bit smaller yeah maybe like this and let's put it under right because this actually when we scroll we will see this uh, this rocket that uh, actually goes up right and the last but not least uh, is our text so let's put here here uh, and to uh back into uh, space grotesque here we are okay color to white 
and uh, we can say that um, this again should be outside not inside any of those uh, items so welcome to this will be uh, the size will be fit so that actually this will fit 100% of the container in this case so the container is this one see? and uh, and oh the width here you see is fixed so uh, here relative say 100% and here we are right and let's put it in the center and let's welcome to and duplicate this and yeah here we say parallax parallax now i put both of them inside a stack inside a stack let's delete the gap and uh, again the width will be relative 100 percent and the height will be fit content and that's actually yeah it's it why I do this? Because um, with this, actually, I can change the size always in percentage. So relatively to um, actually the size of of of, of the browser, uh, and so instead of 100% width, uh, our tax wrapper will be like I don't know 60%, something like that. So uh, tax uh, wrapper. Okay, and let's put it in the center again. Let's change a little bit the uh, opacity here, like 70%. Okay, great. So we have all the items and let's see how this looks actually on uh, a simple canvas. And uh, let's see what happened. You see, if I shrink the page, if I change the uh, page size, so everything it's okay. So the text will be uh, behind actually our foreground so our uh, mountains and so let's put it here and this is rocket okay also insert uh, let's take I don't know whatever section and here let's put this which is quite big it's okay I think yeah let's start to do this animations so the first thing that I want to do is that this rocket it looks like is going up. Remember one thing, uh, if the scroll speed is higher than 100%, it means that the direction is going up. So whatever has a, a higher speed, uh, it seems like it goes up. If it's lower, it seems it goes down. Okay, so keep, keep this in mind. So let's select our rocket and what we have to do is to add an effect scroll speed and uh, let's exaggerate here 180 right 180 percent let's see how it looks like here so if I start scrolling you see this is going much much faster than our scroll so as you can see this this really goes uh, to the moon right and that's okay this is exactly what we want for the background actually we can say we might have eventually some uh changes here yeah let's say the effect or uh, here the scroll speed might be a little bit uh slower than the normal speed so let's say 90 percent uh, let's take the mountain right now and also those should go down eventually right or maybe maybe yeah yeah let's let's try to go up so effect and let's uh, add a scroll speed here and yeah 100 probably 20 is okay and let's see how it looks like now so here we are as you can see so the mountains here are going up right slower than than the uh, the rocket right but but still are going up so now let's take the text wrapper first thing that I want to do is actually 
uh, do an appear effect appear so when the page is loaded basically i want this to slide in from the bottom effect opacity zero scale one not spring actually ease i'll change the ease like this something like this and let's say it's 0 0.9 with a delay of 0 0.3 okay let's see how it looks like when it loads yeah that's okay reload again okay yeah that's cool and now let's do other stuff really cool i also add always to the text wrapper uh, a scroll speed right and i want this to be slower so i want this to be like 60 percent okay and also i want that when i scroll down this fade out and um should also scale up right so i want this stuff something like that right so um i also add a scroll transform this helps exactly to do this so uh, on scroll uh, from so here i would say from opacity one and scale one i want to go to opacity zero and scale 1.6 for example okay should be good let's see now how this looks like so when i scroll down as you can see this is fading out you see and and is also uh scaling up and so guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and see you actually in the next one bye Thank you.